positive zero grinding? Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't think it'll really do much uh, as far as the recovery time goes, as far as getting back faster. But, um, you know, I think the, uh, I guess the, uh, you know, the connotation or the idea in sports is that anytime you go into the knife, it's bad. But um, in some cases, at least with the hand, from what I'm to understand, that um, at certain breaks, you can actually get back faster if you go into the knife. But in this, I think it's, uh, or with this, I think it's great to uh, be able to avoid that and um, almost right away be able to get back and still stay in shape and um, I do most things. Obviously, I can't use my, my left hand or my left arm as much as I'd like to, but uh, still be able to do some ball handling stuff on the court and um, you know, be dominant with my right hand quite a bit, but also keep my legs underneath me for when I do get back. When you get back with about two weeks or so left in the regu uh, regular season, will that be enough time to get into uh, you know, back in the basketball rhythm for the playoffs, do you think? Yeah, I think rhythm is a uh, important word there. I think it's it's um, you know going to be very meaningful to, to to get back as quickly as I can, um, knowing that uh, as I previously mentioned, it's going to be good for me to stay in shape and um, you know work with Alex Moore and you know be with these guys on the floor as as much as I can be. Um, you know, knowing that it's going to be a while till I can really catch the ball, till I can use my other hand quite a bit, but yeah, that rhythm is going to be a big part of it. So hoping that um, not rushing it, but you know, when the doctors say I'm good to go, that I'll be able to go out there and get back in rhythm. Say it again. What happened? I keep looking at the replay, trying to figure out where it happened, if it happened up top um, on the pass or whether it was down low with, uh, I believe, uh, I know it was Tolliver and, and Stanley Johnson. Um, I don't know. It happened so fast, I couldn't really tell. Did you know it was broken right away? I had an idea. I kept playing, thinking, you know, just hurt. But, um, you know, I broke my hands before and, you know, kind of knew the feeling and went back to the bench and, um, you know, I had initially asked to be subbed out when uh, I think it was IT swung me the ball on the side, <clears throat> excuse me, and, you know, just told Steve, you know, what the hell, let's just go get an image and see what happens. And, you know, that's what showed that it was broken. Did you heal quicker than expected the last time you broke it? Um, I mean, I, I would say so. Um, I think with with most injuries, listen, I'm, you know, I'm not, obviously not a uh, not on the medical side. I'm not a doctor, but um, you know, they try to give you a little bit of a cushion, uh, you know, just in case. You know, some bones I'm sure heal different. Um, but you know, we'll see. I'll do everything right. I'll do whatever I need to do to get this thing to heal as quickly as I can, and you know, go from there. Second year, you had your all star thing ruined. And I know, you know, there's bigger things at stake as far as this team goes, but how frustrating is that? Frustrating. It's frustrating. It's not just All-Stars, it's just missing time. And it's it just seems like shit luck, really. I don't know how, <laughs> how, how to categorize it. I really don't. It's just, um, uh, you know, when I looked at Steve Spiro, um, you know, kind of walking off the court, I just said, this, I, just, I know this feeling, this sucks, I can't believe it, two years in a row. Um, and really, it's you know, it's not a listen. Injuries are injuries, but like significant injury, it's just one of those unlucky kind of like I said, shit luck kind of things. You can quote me on that. <laughs> hey, uh, this is the third broken hand, right? Third one. Third, yes. Is there? Any, is it shit luck, or is it? Did anyone tell you is there a reason I, why? I should have drank more milk when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm like not endorsed by chocolate milk anymore. That was my first year here. <laughs> I no, I don't know. I, I, honestly, I think it's just, uh, I, I don't know. I looked at that myself. I thought, I mean, you know, my hands are obviously a big part of the sport, but this is the, the second time I've broken my left hand. So, so, I don't know. It's crazy. Ty described your spirits as down initially when it happened. Are you still in that kind of mindset? Or well, started? obviously, seeing you guys, I'm just uh, fucking, <laughs> uh, the Pied Piper now. I'm so excited. Um, but, uh, no, I was, I'm down. I'm still down. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, I'm always looking for a silver lining or something that's going to keep my spirits up. But, you know, I just look at it like, you know, it's my left hand. Um, I didn't need surgery. And you know, I can still be here to support this team. I can still be around the team. I can still, uh, like I said, almost do everything um, you know, besides go out there and play, which is obviously is what I want to be doing. But um, you know, I can stay in sh shape and keep my legs underneath me and, and 
be well rested for the playoffs. When you, when you do look at this team, Kevin, um, how different are, are, are you guys from, from being that uh, real strong playoff contender that you were the last two years? How different, you said? Yeah, not just with, in personnel, perhaps, but the whole team chemistry and all that. What do you think it is compared to? Yeah, I think we have a... I mean, we have so much time now. We're not even at the all-star break to establish an identity. And that's, um, you know, we have a track record at, of that in the past where it's taken us till you know, really the last, you know, four or six weeks at, to the end of the season. So uh, we're hoping that's still the case with this team. Obviously, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, but, you know, this is a good chance for a lot of guys to step up and play uh, big minutes, um, not just in my position, but really throughout. So. You know, I'm excited to see what these guys were able to do. And, you know, for me, I'll just uh, you know, keep going out there and supporting them and just try to stay in shape throughout this whole whole process. And, you know, that rhythm, uh, as the previous question you asked, I'll just try to you know, get back in however many games that I have. What's the situation with travel? Are you going to Orlando? And then they've got the road trip before the All-Star break. What's... Yeah, they don't have me going to Orlando, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, what will happen from there. So I'll just you know, kind of play it by ear, go day by day. All right. Thanks, cool. Kev. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.